everybody, back out Bullion here. Now if you'd ever wondered what 2,700 ounces of silver neatly laid out on a table would look like, you need look no further as I have done it for you here today. We have a very, very large pile. It's close to 2,700 ounces and this represents the Silver Forum Group order from the European Mint and I unboxed this on my channel yesterday and if you haven't seen that video it's probably best that you go start there. The link is down in the description below. I explain a lot more about what the group order is all about, how it works and a few other little musings on that topic. But today is the overview video. So just for if you're new and you haven't seen that unboxing video, this is not mine. I wish it was, but these are all uh, Silver Forum members' purchases, and they've made that purchase from the European Mint with myself as the distributor here in the UK, and I get to have it all out on the table and share it with you guys. There are a few little bits, bits and bobs in here. I say a few little bo bits and bobs. I've got 20 kilos worth of silver shot and some of these old school uh, cut up silver bars for melting in backyard bullion hand poured silver. Um, but otherwise, we have here an incredible array of silver and coins and it's just pretty, well it's pretty definitely, it's, pr it's pretty outstanding and just takes your breath away a little bit. Now when I was staging this video I really struggled to fit everything on the table in one frame and literally every single inch of this frame is covered in silver which is pretty amazing. Now the aim of today's video is to give you kind of an overview of what people have been buying what's popular, what's uh, not popular perhaps, well I suppose we're not really not going to know exactly what's not popular because it's not here on the table, but what certainly is popular uh, we can certainly gleam from that as well. Also I want to play a little bit of um, devil's advocate around silver buying, uh, certainly in quantity like this, so I'm going to do a few little musings and ponderings, so it's almost like a ponderous Saturday with 2,700 ounces of silver. Now I'm no, not anywhere near going to be able to show you what, you know, every single item that people have purchased, but here is a cheat sheet of everything that people have ordered. And you can see there's some huge quantities of numbers up here for certain uh, coins. A lot of UK coins represented very well here. I'm not going to uh, read all of these out. You can have a pause and a read at your leisure. A little bit of gold as you can see and also a couple of tenth ounces of platinum too. And uh, yeah, it's pretty outstanding. The coins which stand out to me though are these towers of 10 ounce Queen's Beasts. Now you know if you've watched my channel for a while, I love the Queen's Beast series. I certainly love these 10 ounce coins. They are pretty phenomenal. We've got over 50 of them. In fact, how many have we got? We've got 31 and 27, so 58 of these coins if you could even call them coins, these drinks coasters uh, to enjoy. And I'm going to lay those all out and have uh, an update for you all on future group orders and uh, some thoughts on group orders going forward into 2018 and beyond. So that will come out next Wednesday. So if you want to see all of these 10 ounce coins laid out, I mean, they are absolutely phenomenal. They really are. And to have all of these in one pile is going to be pretty impressive. So if you want to see that, hit the subscribe button. Now, uh, in terms of, let's do some rambling and some musing whilst we have a look at what other things people have been buying. Silver prices. Now, one of the reasons why this order is just so ridiculous and massive is the fact that silver prices are very low at the moment. Now, I'm going to play a little bit of devil's advocate and say to you guys, uh, I don't really understand why silver prices aren't going up. When you look at it in the perspective of just how much silver is being bought right now. We've seen some of the major mints in the world, the US Mint, ran out of silver eagles. They also ran out of gold buffaloes. Uh, now it's not that they ran out of silver or gold, it's just that the purchasing uh, demand was so high that they ran out of stock and they had to wait until more was produced. And that's pretty outstanding really, but from an economics point of view, it really sort of begs the question, why haven't prices gone up? If supply goes down and demand continues to be high or goes up even more, then surely prices should go up. That would be the logical thing. But uh, they don't, it's very strange. So we see this continuing drop in silver prices over this last couple of weeks, despite all of this, um, all of this sort of demand that silver has at the moment. By the way, underneath this tray of pandas, there's just more coins. These are the two dragon coins from the Royal Mint. 
Uh, not my favourite coins from the Royal Mint, certainly, but they're certainly not my least favourite. We all know the zombie dog and soon to be the dead or dying pig. Um, so, yeah, just huge volumes of silver here. And that, I think, just represents that people here in the UK want to take advantage of silver whilst they can. And that is for the reason because we are leaving the European Union uh, very soon. If you haven't heard, Brexit is a thing. And I think a lot of people are, similarly to myself, fearing that they are not going to be getting um, any kind of good deals post-Brexit uh, with the trade union in Europe and such that means that the free or the VAT free silver days will be over which is obviously a big deal and people will then not be able to get their silver very cheaply so I think a lot of people are front loading a lot here but again going back to the question of silver prices why isn't that having an impact on silver prices because silver prices are still going down so my argument to you is that uh, we all know that the silver industry is well, silver, silver markets are to some to some degree manipulated um, but just really I mean I would suggest to you guys that if they're going to manipulate it down and down and down constantly why what's what's the ultimate gain here I mean I know that they're going to maybe manipulate it down buy a whole ton of silver and then maybe make a lot of money on it when silver prices go up but it's not in the sort of and, and who they are of course you don't really know are they the wizards who knows but um, you know they the bankers are manipulating it down and they're going to buy more and then maybe make a lot of money when it goes up but you know if they if it goes up catastrophically up that's going to have uh, you know huge implications for global economies and uh, it's not necessarily going to be good news all things told so it's very interesting uh, you know I, do, I, I self profess I don't know a great deal about these things and I am just sort of musing and rambling as I go through this pile of silver but uh, it certainly does ask a lot of questions about the silver market you know it, it seems to be bucking uh, normal economic trends which is something that's quite strange and uh, it's very difficult to know now the uh, the next thing I want to talk about in this in relation to this giant pile of silver is that it is a very very large pile of silver it's very heavy and it represents all told including the shot it represents probably close to 40,000 pounds worth which is maybe fifty thousand dollars something like that I haven't really done my my maths ahead of time but it's probably about that and that's an awful lot of money and this is an awful lot of weight and silver and storage and let me tell you it's not easy to move around at your house let alone move around to a dealer or to sell off and let me just grab something for you which I think you'll enjoy now sorry about that if you were to have this much value in gold you would be looking at certainly if we exclude the shot if we say the 30 odd thousand pounds worth of silver coins here exclude the shot you can get all of that wealth in something half the size of this kilo silver bar gold is nearly twice as dense as silver not quite twice but nearly twice so roughly half the size of this all of that value in something you can pick up in one hand and just put in your pocket and walk away with that is pretty staggering really when you think about it so my argument here is whilst this is a very very pretty and very attractive looking pile of silver is it really a good buy if you are a high budget stacker if you're somebody who uh, has got a larger budget and you're maybe buying if you're buying all of this in one go good great for you but if you're buying all of it in one go it would suggest that you've got a lot of funds that you might want to be buying more of in the future so if this is your yearly or monthly uh, stack to silver you're going to very quickly end up with an entire house full of silver whereas investing in gold is a lot more easy in that sense uh, and you don't have all of the issues of storage like this now of course people are going to say well storage is storage it's you know you just find somewhere to put it and it's fine but it's not just about storage it's about when you come to sell it as well if you've got a monster box of silver that weighs a lot and you will be spending a lot of money posting it out to sellers sorry posting it out to buyers or dealers or what have you as well so it is a very interesting and kind of ponderous topic i suppose uh you know is silver really a serious you know investment is it something that you can seriously invest in now to tie all of these topics together which i hope has made a little bit of sense to you guys along the way that leads me to a few things so first of all silver prices are very low people are 
continuing to buy lots and lots of silver, physical silver, which is great. And it's continuing to be a low price. Will prices go even lower? That's the big question. I think that they might. There's a very good chance that they will. Again, though, I'm not a, any kind of clairvoyant, so I don't know whether that's going to be true or not. Uh, but certainly it does beg the question that as a, in, as a sort of long-term investment, silver is not necessarily the right way to go for a lot of stackers, certainly if you're on higher budgets. So my argument would be paper silver is probably better, but then you've got the whole issue of whether or not paper silver is even a thing, if, it, if, you know, if we had a crash, would you be able to get your money out, etc, etc. At least with this, it's physical, you've got it, you're holding it in your hand. So that is my musings on silver and silver prices as represented by this group order and this very, very large pile of silver. So there is really no way of me being able to go through each and everything here on the table. Let's just cap off with a, a, another quick grand tour. We've got some uh, American Eagles here that have made their way over to the European Mint. And there's a couple, well, three rolls of them there. Got some Canadian Maples in these yellow topped ones. Uh, got some Perth Mint Kangaroos in here, some Perth Mint Dragon Bars, Austrian Philharmonics. Oh, we haven't even talked about the gold coins. So there have been a few bits of gold picked up uh, this particular order, but not vast quantities other than maybe this one ounce gold coin here, which was the Queen's Beast Unicorn. So that's a very cool coin for somebody to have picked up. And incidentally, it was pretty much cheaper at the, at the time this person bought it than it was to buy it from anywhere in the UK. We've also got some one tiny little one gram gold Canadian maples here. So those are pretty cool. Very, very teeny tiny. But it kind of, I suppose it, it, it accentuates the point which I'm making here about uh, silver being more attractive right now for UK buyers, certainly to buy from Europe because of the Brexit questions that we have and the unknown Brexits that we have. Gosh, I haven't, you know, this, this pile of silver goes on and on and on. There's five rolls of these, I mean, there's over a hundred of these um, Oriental Border Britannias, which are just phenomenal coins. Uh, so big I couldn't fit them all on the table. So there we go, there is 2,700 ounces of silver. I haven't even showed you my silver shot, there's just too much to get through here. So here's the silver shot, I put it in these business card boxes and uh, it neatly holds 1.25 kilos and they all fit in a monster box as well. So very, very cool indeed. That would be all used for backyard bullion hand poured silver. Now the next thing for me and Mrs. Backyard Bullion to do, as we have finished with this giant pile of silver, other than these 10 ounce Queen's Beasts, I'm gonna go and film that uh, wondrous video with all 58 of them lined out on the table. That should be pretty cool. Uh, but we have a big task ahead of us to sort all of this pile of silver out and make sure it's all there. I have done a cursory check of it all and it looks like everything's there. There's a couple of things though, which are uh, not quite right with this order but we knew about this ahead of time, so that's okay. Uh, but otherwise the European Mint have done a pretty damn good job of getting all of this to us. Incidentally, all of this had to be driven by land. It was done by land rather than air, uh, by TNT, which is very interesting. Uh, it's another kind of chink in the armor of silver ordering in bulk like this because you're not able to order this much quantity and get it delivered kind of next day via sort of TNT Express air travel, it's just too expensive. Uh, you know, it would have cost thousands of euros to get the insurance required to fly it over, which is fascinating stuff. So anyway, look, I've finished along with all my ramblings now. Uh, thank you to all of the Silver Forum members for joining in this order, for giving your trust in me and Mrs. Backyard Bullion to get this all sorted and delivered to you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this overview of this order. If you'd like to get involved in future group orders, then you definitely need to check out the video which I'm gonna put out on Wednesday next week, which is not only gonna show all of these 10 ounce Queen's Beasts, but I'm going to talk about the future of group orders and how they're going to shape up in the future. So uh, thank you so much for watching. If you could put a thumbs up on this video, that would be very helpful for everything that I do here on my YouTube channel. And if you would like to see future videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Otherwise, that is all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching, and please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.